I am. If I search up a celebrity, I'm shocked if they don't have nudes out or an mm. OnlyFans. If I search up a TikToker and they don't have OnlyFans, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm going through their Instagram. I'm like, where's the spicy link? Yeah, Every, there's well, always the, a spicy there link. Is, there, you have more than five thousand followers. So where is your spicy link? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's always linked in bio. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it is off. Gentlemen, it is Morocco with two eyes. We're back on every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 a.m. on Spotify and 4.30 p.m. on YouTube. I had a moment in a shopping center today. Oh. And it was so awkward. Oh, no. Because I was so shocked. Really? <laughs> yeah. Listen, can I just say, was the supermarket awkwardness the thing where, like, you and the customer are, like, walking the same way? You do that, like, that little step, and you're like, oh, sorry. They're like, oh, no, my no. fault. And then you do the step again, and you're like, <laughs> oh, that. sorry. And you just, like... Please fucking kill me. Yeah, exactly. Do you know those um, those situations I hate the most, especially when you see someone you know um, in a shopping centre and you've just started your shopping and you go, oh, my God, I'm going to see them in every aisle and yes. then I have to create a new conversation. And it looks like you're following them as well. It's like, oh, oh you're here again. You're like, oh, the chasing bickies. Is it, isn't that the so classic? Thing, like, I hate oh, that. How is it running into you again? Yeah. It's like, oh, my God. I hate that so... Oh, no, I you've actually it. hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Those awkward... Just awkward supermarket things at the... Uh, oh. I, oh, before we get into the awkward moment, you just you just um, reminded me of a moment I happened when um, I tried to catch two guys stealing once when I was working. Yes, yes. They were ratty as and... <laughs> of course. I was so nervous <laughs> going up to them and I, I was like, oh, yeah, we saw you steal, steal last week, so I think my... I need you to get out. <laughs> I brought someone else with me because I'm like, these guys look ratty as anything. Yeah, like, very dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> Those top people was like, well, I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, you know, you're so and I'm like, well, I've got that. stuff to lose. I just pre-ordered Call of Duty <laughs> and I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to die yeah. shit. I haven't, I haven't even got to play it. I played the beta and it was okay, yeah. but I know the game's going to be different at launch. <laughs> <laughs> Put some new knives. Like, guys, I'm chilling. Like, don't... <laughs> um, yeah, so they started, went up to him, and I'm like, yeah, you guys are going to have to get out. They left. And then when I obviously wasn't in work uniform, the next day I'm shopping in the shopping center, and I'm in an aisle, and I just see both of them walking oh. towards me. And I just went, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And all I went is like... I'm not protected by the uniform. <laughs> <I was Yeah>. like, <laughs> you, you, you're actually correct, though. I hate that when you have a run in with like a customer and then you see him outside of like work. Yeah. And you're just like, oh. I wonder fuck. how cops deal with that. Oh, no shit. That mm. is a great question. We might actually have to. Actually, I don't know if we could get a cop on here to speak about that. that <laughs> I do not no, think I was, a I was, cop I was actually, would be yeah, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I'm like pro- probably, probably can't disclose any of that information. Actually. Man, well, they have Nothing to have. I've worked uh, with a cop, uh, like he was one of my clients, and um, he had to, they have to change their name on Facebook, everything. Like, yeah, they can't I have be, noticed. Yeah. Like, I've got a few mates as well, and they sort of change, like they lose the last name. Or even if you're a primary school teacher. Mm-hmm. I didn't realise, crazy story, uh, a mate of mine, her sister actually worked in a primary school, like worked in a primary school, and all the grade six students, because everyone obviously has Facebook now, fucking grade four, were all trying to search her up on Facebook. Yeah. I'm like, that is actually fucked. I, like, I know true. as a joke in high school, we'd be like, oh my god, I wonder, like, what? <laughs> That's <laughs> twice that, that that has happened now doing the is podcast. That really? Yes. Sorry, it it as Lee was mate. speaking, there's just um, my outside window. We've just watched Magpie just try to. <laughs> Pretty well, much come, come attack in. us. Yeah. He wants a guest spot. Everyone wants to get. That's it, mate. On the Everyone Mar- wants to come on the Morocco Mar- <laughs> podcast. But how yeah. good swooping? Let's oh, talk about yeah, it. Right, <laughs> Sweet three kids the other week. Uh, but yeah, like I know in high school we would joke around being like, "Oh, I wonder what the teacher's name is." Like we'll try and find it on Facebook. But like, yep. I don't feel like we ever really like made the jump to then actually. I had a friend who did. Really? In year seven, yeah. So very Holy naive. Shit. He found her, he added her. And this was before like oh, the whole no. Facebook stalking was a big thing. And the next day she comes in and she's like doing roll call. Oh, do you remember roll call? Yes. And then after roll call, oh. she comes up and she's like, hi, Luke. And then I think, do you know what? I think I had a mullet and I cut it off. And she goes, oh, the neck must be feeling a lot better. And I was like, <laughs> I was getting bullied. <laughs> so, so and then she goes to the next guy and she's like, Mitchell? That is not appropriate that you added me on Facebook. Delete it. And that was it. And I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> um, right. And um, I, I would, mate, you're right. So many kids now have phones at such an early age and they would Facebook stalk. And a lot, I guess a lot more people are more confident with their bodies now. So yes. there's a lot more cleavage photos. And, and as just a normal, I mean, 
geez, if you're in your 20s, there's probably going to be a lot of photos with you just like pushing your ass out a bit. Yeah. Maybe your boobs are out. And something wrong with it. the beach. Yeah. But, whatever. But as, and like as a grade six kid, you're just like tits. <laughs> straight straight up though. Like, yeah. Like, you are. So you're just like, oh my God. Like, yeah. I, I could go on for days about how I am. If I search up a celebrity, I'm shocked if they don't have nudes out or an mm. only fan. If I search up a TikToker, and they don't have OnlyFans, I'm shocked. Yeah. I'm going through their Instagram. I'm like, where's the spicy link? Yeah. Every, There's well, always a spicy there link. Is, you have more than 5,000 followers. So where is your spicy link? Because <laughs> It's always link in bio. <laughs> Literally. It is. Oh, fucking hell. Um, oh, so yeah, I was in the supermarket. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So um, I picked up, um, my brother ordered a new um, PlayStation 5 controller, which looked pretty clean. And I was yeah, like... Mine's currently in the boot, actually. Yeah. Oh, did you get one too? Yes, I did Jealous get one. Ads. Because I came... So, you were like, oh, mate, come here at come here at two. And classic me in my own fashion was a bit asked to. But in all fairness, this time it wasn't on me. I actually timed when I was going to pick up the controller to coming to yours really, really well. And I used... I traded in a controller because I got some money off. And then I also used a voucher. My voucher wasn't working properly. Oh, and then pain. they were, and then they were like, "Are you sure it's got the full?" I'm like, "I got it for Christmas. I haven't used it." <laughs> and, they're, and they're like, "Yeah, but are you sure?" Because like, it's not scanning. I'm like, "What? What? Why would I bring a voucher that has no money on it to a place and act to this use? Like that is so dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. Granted, I'm sure that has happened to them numerous times. But like, I'm not. The but it's me. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Even though they don't know me, it's me. I love, I love how it's like. Um, they're just doing their job. They have to do their due diligence and you're just sitting there and you're just like, but, but it's me. Like, I wouldn't do that. And they're just like, I don't know you. <laughs> I have no idea you who you are. I spent a lot of money here. <laughs> you're my dealer at games. <laughs> you know me. You give me that link. Um, so, um, I, yeah, I was in, I, I picked that up and then I go to, I finished training before that as well. And I was exhausted. I was like, this has taken everything out of me. And this is why I never train in the morning before work or do anything physical before work. Because I just feel like my energy just gets so sucked away that the day is a struggle. Some people, they like do their little workout in the morning and they're like, I feel perfect. Like I feel like I'm not like that. I always think for any tradie out there, they're getting up at like, Already early, Ugh. like some of them five o'clock. There, I see some people send me Snapchats or Instagram stories. They're in the gym at like four, and I'm like, you've now got a whole day's worth of work in front of you. Whether that's your buddy doing, you're a bricklayer, maybe you're a carpenter. Getting up in the roof. You, yeah, yeah. yeah, getting up in a hot room. You're under a buddy house, like what you were doing. You Maybe you're just wheel, doing a ton of wheelbarrows of cement. Out in the sun, I'm like. I do not understand, credit to you, because I wish I could like wire my brain like that. How? Like, actually, how? I always used to get jealous when I was working in the supermarket, and I'd be like, fuck, look at them waking up, going for a morning walk. Like, walk. Wow, I just don't know how I couldn't pronounce that. Um, going for a morning <laughs> right, walk, and then and then they go to work. Because um, in my head, I'm like, fuck, that'd be cool. Ass. But I know for a fact, if I had a morning walk, I'd be then <laughs> struggling. Like, I, 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 man, I don't know what's happened to me. It was like a stroke or something like that. Um, <laughs> yep, morning yeah, walk. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I just know for a fact that it threw me out, and I wouldn't yeah. really want to go to work after that. Man, I, as you were saying that, and the whole you know getting up, you know, if you wanted to smash out the gym at four, big busy day as a labourer, hey, maybe that's the reason why some relationships really do struggle. Because if I went through all that at the end of the day, and then I had to come home to a couple of kids and my wife, and I'm just exhausted, like deflated. Yeah, you'd be so exhausted. If I had that type of job, I would want to come home, take a bath, and literally stay on my phone and just put like an easy cook meal in the fridge. Yeah, easy cook frozen meal, something like that, and just have like the TV going on. You're probably asleep by fucking seven. Yeah, I I can see how some people, like guys or girls, would be really irritable if they've had like a massive, massive day. And then think about as well, these same people also might then have sporting commitments. Yeah, exactly. It's like, footy, like that to me. Because most of the trades co- are footy boys. Yeah, you're, yeah. Like, you're not even coming home until maybe sometimes seven, eight o'clock of a night. Oh. And you're up at like, that, that is crazy. Yeah. Crazy. And that's without work being like, if it's rainy, then you've got to deal with the rain. Like, mm. shit, maybe your boss is a prick as well to you during the, like. Oh, fuck, I, know, I know I'll cop heat for this. I know some people are just like, don't take it the wrong way. But <laughs> stay at home mum or stay at home dad, I will never think that that's a harder job than a, a labourer. I, I just wouldn't. Yeah. I, I literally can't. 
Like I know that there there would be hardships and I know that there'd be moments that are like, this is stressful. And I guess the bigger part would be the mental aspect. Like maybe you've got a kid that just can't stop crying and then you've got work to do. I can get that. But fucking hell, if you're going to go out and like say be a brickie or a carpenter and you're working and you're getting up so early and you've got to grind constantly, like those jobs, I'm talking about the jobs where you can't, Sit Travel back and relax. Well. Yeah, exactly. It's not one where it's like I'm getting paid no matter what. It's like no, no. You need to you need to work hard, or or you're going to lose your yeah. job. You need to grind. And compared to someone who's like you know got to clean the house, cook some food, um, there, there's heaps of jobs that go involved into a stay at home mum or dad. But I joke around with um, my girlfriend all the time, and I'm like, if you get a promotion, I will happily be a stay-at-home boyfriend. I was like, I'll get up early. I'll make sure your lunch is prepared. Well, I'll have a go. whole three-course meal. Suck up. I was like, I was like, I'll be that. I'll be that home boyfriend, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's a joke, but I don't know. I can't see the harder side for a stay-at-home parent compared to what? someone who has to really go out and out, like earn the money. Out of curiosity, though, I wonder how it is for say, like, a stay-at-home mum or dad and their their partner. Is obviously out working the like working and all that and like because I think yeah all right they have the kid but I suppose in your own head you'd be like oh well they've probably done some housework maybe some gardening could you imagine like you get home in the house like and you're like the fuck have you done that would happen like, all the time because I feel like there'd be I so reckon. many arguments like and little petty because it's like well I was working and I'm like Mate, do you know how yeah, hard it is 100%. you've come in you what all right yeah you might have to put the kid to sleep or whatever make it through but like you have any this isn't back in this dishes fucking it because I know for a fact there are relationships out there that would 110 percent like that's every single day for them yeah they would they would hold there's some people that would hold a grudge instead of being understanding but to be fair there'd also be some relationships where. It's fair. Like some people really don't take the grunt of the relationship seriously and they just kind of relax and they expect everything. Yes. Um, so that's why communication is so like so it important. Is. It is key. But I, I will give credit to the stay-at-home parents where I worked with one the other week. She had three kids that ranged from the age of, I think, about seven to four. So they just smashed them out real early and Shit. all together. Mate, they were sprinting around the I was house. Say, that'd stop, be like chaotic. Jumping guys. up and down, trying to have a conversation. They like want their mum's oh attention. Mum, 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 look, mum, mum. And they mom, want mom. my attention. And I, it was the whole thing I'm watching. I'm like, this is why I'm never having kids. <laughs> this is literally why I'll never have kids. And it was just got no, like, go, go, go nonstop. And it's school holidays as well. At the moment, and I, I've so, got to yeah. give, give credit to her because that, that is the hardest side to stay on parent because I'm like, you can't. Leave them out of your. No, you sight. can't. Like they need your like, supervision at pretty much at all times. The youngest one, I'm like you. Uh, one time when we we're having a conversation that she um, didn't have complete focus on them, they've gone and made a mud hole at the back, and their whole hands are all muddy and like. I, yeah, I was like dragging mud through the house, both. or like the littlest one might choke on something because you're not like. Yeah, so I would say if you have got more than one kid and they they're very young, I can yeah I can see how it would definitely be. Fucking tough. Oh, like, shit, yeah. Yeah. No, like, full, you're a hero in my eyes. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, full credit to you, but I also, I don't know, I think sometimes that job, especially if it's like a, just you're a single parent, uh, sorry, if you're a stay-at-home mum or dad and you just got one kid, I feel like some people like battle for the, no, this is the hardest job on earth. Yeah. Don't get yeah. me wrong. It's a hard job. Oh, shit, but yeah. I don't think it's harder than someone who has to work in the mines or someone who's... <laughs> like in a bricklayer or getting up in the roofs every day and they have to deal with a shitty boss, things like that. Just a shitty boss in general. Like having to oh. go into work and dealing with a shitty boss yeah. when maybe you can stay home and, you know, the kid gets to rest and then you've got three hours to... Yeah, you've got, like your, own, you got like your own sort of time, which I know exactly. for a fact you in your own time you probably are running around because you're like, shit, like sort of thing, but you're still able to like at least get some things done. Mm. But again... I've never done it before. I would love a week. I, don't, I wish there was some like way you that could like, swap like with a VR like, experience yeah, yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah. I could actually do that for yeah, a deep week up into and then just life, go, really yeah. understand it from their perspective. Yeah, and, and like, they'd be able to be like, no, you know what? Cool. I, I, I take how out everything that, I said. Really know, how cool would that be if there were, if there was sort of like a game or like a simulator, like something like that where, because you always hear it's like, yeah, but you don't know my side of the story or like, how about you walk a day in my shoes? Sort of, and I would love how that. How cool would it be to actually experience that? Oh my or God. even if you're like, hey, mate, you know what? Work's been a bit uh, today. I wouldn't mind maybe doing this. And like, you can actually like try, like I know you said previously, but like trial that thing maybe just for like a week. Mate. To just, to, just to be like, is this really for me? Because for, maybe you're like, 
oh, mate, the money in the mines is good as, like, sort of thing. Fuck it. Like, I'm just going to... And they have, like, all you, you guys that want to try it for a week, come for that. And, like, you might get to the end and you're like, that was the worst fucking thing I've <laughs> ever... Like, not a fucking chance. Bro, no I would, way. I would love if there was some, like, Apple VR experience and it's just called Take a Walk in My Shoes. And... <sighs> And just what a name too, just oh, by the way. And bro, like if someone like one of our mates went, like you don't understand how hard of a week I've had, and just being able to like, okay, and literally being able to get into an experience and have his exact week. Yeah, where it's but like it's you're getting your up experience. early, you got to like make your own yeah. lunch. Maybe you've argued with the missus that night, like that right. sort of stuff. And you're just like, well, and then you actually get to that week and you just go to your mate and you're like, I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, like mate, <laughs> I want to apologize. Yeah. How the hell do you do this every single day, every single year? Like, what the fuck? Could you imagine if, you like, it's on the opposite side, you you end the experience, you go, yeah, Kevin, mate, again, I'm going to double down. Your job is a piece of piss. Yeah. I, I thought it was easy. Mate, it is fucking... I, I want your job. Mate, you only got to work three days a week. Yeah. You lied to me, mate. Like, I was expecting this massive, like, grind... <laughs> Turns out I leave at 2 p.m. every day. What the fuck's that about? You never told me that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, man. The stay at home, um, oh. the stay at home mum or dad thing. I-, I would love to have that experience for like a solid week, like at the harder end of it, and the maybe the maybe one kid experience, and then maybe another set where it's like three kids experience, I and reckon- then I could come back to this and be like, "Hey, man, you know how I was talking last week? How I think it'd be much harder to be a labourer? Yeah, no, I'm fucking wrong. It is. It is grind. <laughs> well, time. I'm they're always moving. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that'd be such a case, especially if you for those parents where you see they have like a maybe like a newborn, then like another one that's like maybe like two, and then another one that's four. It's like you have a crying baby, mm. a toddler that like still, like, relies on you heavily, and then a four-year-old who's, like, wants to, like, become their own sort of person, but they're still, like, rely- like, that'd be so intense, man. Like, imagine trying to put, like, the youngest one asleep. Meanwhile, you're getting grabbed at the shoe, like, you- I want yeah. food, I want food. That one's, mm. like, put put fish on TV, put, and you're, like, leave me the fuck alone. Like, <laughs> man, the same like with me. if you had, um, you'd be, like, you'd want to leave them alone, and you just want your time to yourself. Mate, I can remember when I was a kid and just, if I had time with my brother where my parents were around. I remember I got tweezers once because he had a seed in his eye when I pushed him into a bush and it was right in his Jesus eye and I gave Christ. tweezers to get it out. And oh, I sit God. back and I, <laughs> I sit back and I go, I think, wait, hold on. Then I can't leave like a fucking four year old and an eight year old alone. I can't yeah. do it. Well, even when my mum used to leave my brother and me alone, man, usually it was on the phone talking to our old man who was overseas Oh, we would just then always do wrestling moves on the couch. Oh, wrestling moves are classic. And stuff like that. Colors, and it was yeah. always a constant, like, usually me hurting him. It was very yeah. rare that he would, he'd cry, he'd run to mom, or I'd be like, just shut up, shut the fuck up, like, sort of thing. But, mate, you know how like, we're talking about, like, people go too hard with the parenting books and things like that? I'm going to double down on this. I went and um, had a meeting with someone the other day, and the, what he's going through is pretty upsetting, right? He, he came in, his son, who would have been like six, shook my hand. His, his um, dad said, hey, in this meeting, can you just please be quiet? There's a lot we have to discuss. This kid just sat down, quiet as anything, didn't tap his dad the whole time, didn't annoy him, just sat down politely, was kind, gracious, and I was like, if, if there's anything you want to do, you find someone like that and you ask them. Ask them what they did. With their yeah. kid. Don't go off a book. Don't go off YouTube. Find that parent. That's amazing. And just a six year old, there was no way that I would be sitting still. Right, he was so well Especially behaved. Especially without like a, like just a, maybe like your parents' phone or mm. like a game, like something. Like there's no way. Mate, he was so well behaved and he just like, followed the leader pretty much. Yeah. What? Oh, the story about when I went to Boost. Sorry, we'll, <laughs> we'll finish with this. Yeah. <laughs> Classic that's moral guy. That's so good. Maybe just edit it so the story's at the start. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> So, to finish it off, I went to Boost Juice because I was feeling wrecked after training. I was in the I was in the shopping center, and I was like, "Fuck, Mango Magic would yes. hit the spot perfectly." Yes, it will. So I go up, go to order my Mango Magic. I'm like, "Yeah, just Mango, a large Mango Magic." I know they, they're not regular, but I just say large just in case. Um, and she just goes, "Yeah, all good. That'll be nine dollars." It's $9 there now. That's like the That's price of a, a meal. 
That actually is, man, because realistically, you could easily go to, well, you've already got water, for example. Like, yeah. ice cubes, you've already got them in the freezer. Milk, usually you already have. If not, that's like, what, $3 at max. Yep. And then just buy some frozen mango, man. Like, hey, it's, it, it's I, a joke. I couldn't, but I was like, $9. And I was so shocked that it stunned me a bit. It was the first time, like, for in a while where I've purchased something or paid, whatever. Yeah, and, and I've just been like, and you're like, hang on a sec, that's not right. I was so confused. And she goes, um, <laughs> this is the kicker. Because I was so shocked, they're like, really? $9? She goes, and your name? And I go, no, nah, I'm right, thanks. And she gives me this look like, huh? And then it really kicked in. I went, oh, sorry. Yeah, Luke, Luke, sorry. I, sorry. And I, well, I was just so, like, gobsmacked. I'm like, $9? Like, and, and, right, it fucked me up. And I, I can imagine that. Name for the order? No, I'm good. And I, that's fine. Do you ever do that? Do you go to Starbucks at all? Never. Okay, because as I say, if you do, do you, are you the person that, like, on purpose doesn't give your name? Nah, what a douche move. So, <laughs> I've done it a few times. Why? Because it's funny, because I want to know how they're going to spell it. Do they ask for it? Yeah, they're like, oh, what's your name? And I'll just be like, oh, Peter. But and then like, Oh, so you give a funny different yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. There's a big difference from yeah, what's your sorry. name. I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was about to have a no, go at you. And, then, and, no, and then they'll, they'll write instead of like P E T E R, it'd be like P E T A. And you're like, how, how do you fuck that up? It's not even your name, though. No, I know, no. I mean, like, still, though. Like, man, even if I said that my name was Lee, though, they'll go like L E I G H. Yeah. Yeah, that's a common Like, I'd rather you ask for my name and how it's spelled than just jump to the assumption of how it's spelled. <laughs> Grow up, mate. No, fuck it out. Just, it's a bit of writing on the cup. <laughs> it's not the point. <laughs> What happens if Lee comes up next to me, L E I G H, and they walk away with my name? No, no, sorry, that's how it's spelled. Yeah, I know, but I think she messed up. No, but it's spelt that my way. Son, this is the this is what I was. My fearing. son's name is also Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was where I covered to I say so much watching me, and we'll see you in the next one. Boom. Boom.